Hey, let's go, everybody. My name's Chris, and welcome to the second recap episode of Let's Play, but stream, let's do whatever with RuneScape. Um, so for what I'm doing with these, in case you don't watch the first episode, is I'm streaming this game, but I'm also playing it uh, offline. Thus, why I'm also doing like kind of like little recap episodes to show, you know, little highlights as well as like all the levels like off stream. Mostly because I'm getting like levels and doing stuff off stream as well. So, um, I've decided I'm gonna do all this post commentary, unless, like, I catch some live commentary thing, so, you know, look forward to that. So today during the stream, I, uh, I, I finished off the rune crafting quest, whatever that was called. Um, followed by, uh, using up some of my, uh, uh bars I had from mining earlier and got some smithing levels, and I went and did some slayer, and that was pretty much it for the stream. And then I did a bunch of stuff we'll go into once I get to it. So, uh, here we go. So here's the first level of the stream. I got 11 mining. Uh, I did this game, the rune essence. I was mostly just kind of showing how it works and I got a level for a bit, so yay. I then also um, decided to show how rune crafting works. It's, it's funny, rune crafting is actually a skill I really love at the start because it, it's, it is really fun, really, running back and forth. Uh, it gets very boring and mundane very quickly though. So here's me uh, getting level two rune crafting. Followed by getting level 4 rune crafting? I mean, we're at a different altar. This is the mine altar, uh, which gives you more experience. So I'm guessing that's why I got two levels. Like, I went from level 1 to 2 and then 2 to 4 right away, which I thought was really weird at first. But, I mean, I guess I guess that's just the way she goes. So there's level 4 rune crafting already. My god, we're already so close. We're already on our way to 99, you guys. Another, like, a little bit of progress. I didn't even realize I was going to get. These achievement diaries. I don't really know anything about these. Uh, these were not really in the game so much when I used to play, at least like in, in the current state they were. They were a little bit in when I used to play, but it was a little bit different. Anyways, here's the lever you pull to go the deep wilderness, and that's like a that's like a task you could do for like an achievement diary thing. So there, there's that done, in case you know you're super interested in that. And honestly, this is just something weird I thought was very strange. I just want to kind of show off. The very first time you go to the gnome stronghold, a gnome pulls you aside and asks you to click on some boxes and put them in his cart. I thought it was really weird and just kind of like out of nowhere. I thought it was maybe like the start of a quest or I thought maybe he was going to tell me I can't go in here. But no, he just asked you to click on some boxes and then click on his car and then you're good to go. And I thought it was really weird because I don't really ever remember that being there for one and for two. It just seems like what a random thing. Also, apparently that's one of the achievement diary things, I think. Is it? Nope, nope. Never mind. It's not. I'm reading the chat wrong. Never mind. And then, oh yes, Agility. Here's level 2 Agility, which I think also did a Achievement Diary thing as well. Agility is another skill that I really like the beginning of, and Agility's actually been super reformed since I used to play. Uh, there you go, that is an Achievement Diary as well, doing um, doing a, a lap around the Gnome course here. Uh, I, I, agility is a skill I really enjoy at the beginning of just like runecrafting, and then I kind of hate as it goes along because it gets very boring and monotonous and it's very click intensive. Uh, but there's level 2, and you'll see level 3 in a moment here. This is level 3! I did it! Here's a skill I really enjoy smithing! It's extremely expensive to do in the game mostly though, so here's level 4, 5, 6, and 7! Then after buying some smexy upgraded steel armor and a steel scimitar, and of course the plate skirt, because plate legs never freaking buy, I decided to go training some, uh, some slayers, so here's me getting 11 strength on some minotaurs. Many minotaurs! Followed by a hearty 15 hit points. Then, ooh, baby, don't forget about the level 2 slayer. But wait, there's more! Level 12 strength. Alright, it's time for the post stream updates! Okay, at first I went for agility. Uh, I got 4 and 5 there. Uh, if I unlock the fly on life to Jelly Shark. <laughs> this looks is uh, We're about to fast 10 here, which I will unlock. Uh, the Janitor Village Course, cross the road with the John, my John Allen, use the Corsair Cove show uh, cool beans. And then I strategically suicided here, which will cut fast forward. There we go. I'm dead! So, I really kind of wanted to show all, like, a brand new, whenever I do, like, a brand new training method, I kind of really wanted to show it on screen. Um, that being said, it's kind of hard to do that. <laughs> uh, there you go. I just got an achievement diary thing there. Uh, oh, here we go. Here, here's uh, Posty Pete. There's another random event we haven't seen yet uh, with Molly. Her evil twin is causing her issues, and we have to memorize what she looks like and go find it. So uh, this corner course I'm doing is called the Drain or Rooftop course. I do it from level 10 to 20, I believe. It, no, level 10. Yeah, level 10 to 20. Sorry. Uh, and um, yeah, we'll also be getting a thing called a graceful mark in a second here as a fell. There we go. We did it. 
the reward for this is... <gasps> Emeralds! There we go, here we go again! <laughs> Uh, can I use the stepping stones of Kromja Dungeon? Well, this will make sense eventually. Mars agree. So these randomly spawn as you do agility, and only you could see them, and um, so like no one else could pick them up. And uh, if you save up enough of them, you could buy like special equipment with it. That's very helpful. You can now use monkey bars and edge well in the Corsair Cold Dungeon. I have no idea what this Corsair thing is, by the way. That's new. You know, agility shortcuts. Yeah, me, yeah, me, team. Uh, the Koran Catacombs, no idea what that is. 18, 19, 20. So all these rooftop cores are actually brand new as well. You can now use the Alcarin Course Pass Medium Agility uh, uh, Obstacles. <laughs> use the Cold Chuck Log Balance Agility Shortcut. I'm trying to use it as fast as I can. There we go, I did another medium task for Lumber to drain our area, which is, uh, dude, this is like a, I wanted to show this full clip. Look how stupid this is. I'm, like, I'm a clothespin. I'm, I'm hanging my teeth off a clothespin. <laughs> that's level 21 agility. I can use the Granite Exchange Agility Shortcut. That is amazing. I, that's one of the best ones in the game, to be honest. Kromja Dungeon, Pipe Contortion. Uh, level 23, 24. We're almost done here. 25. Sorry these episodes are so chaotic. <laughs> uh, you can now use a Werewolf Skull Bull, of course, and the Eagle's Peak. Shortcut. Yeah, yeah, okay. um, as I get, you know, you can now use the Fowler Jelly Shortcut. As I get farther in the game, these, these kind of updates will be less and less free, but I do have power show. Also, level 175 with that level, so that's pretty neat. Can I use the Corrin Catacombs Pillar Jump? Still no idea what the Corrin is. Sorry these volume things changed. Level 30, finally! Can I use the Jilly Pyramid and Verrock Course, the Stepping Stones in the south, in the Southeastern Karamja and the Corsair Cave Resource Area Shortcut. You can also use the Penguin Jilly Shortcut if you have begun. <gasps> Cold War! Quest. I kind of remembered what it was. Um, here, then we decided to go do some Slayer there. Uh, level 13 Strength. I think I got 14 Combat there. Level 3 Slayer. Uh, if you caught the chat there, there's a little 14 Slayer and 4. Or sorry, 14 Strength and 4 Slayer. Then 5, 15 Slayer. Oh, I mean, Strength. Good lord, I'm back. 16. I'm killing these bats. I love an attack. And what I, um, you know, I'm going to stop reading. <laughs> I'm going to stop saying each of these. So these bat bones here, I got excited because they're worth a lot of money. At least it said they were. And then I went and sold them and they're only worth 54 coins. I think they're worth, I think it said they were worth like 20,000 coins initially or something. Uh, level 5 Slayer. I got a crawling hands. Crawling in my skin. Sorry. Um, so I was told to go kill more Minotaurs level 60 combat there. I missed some of these combat levels, by the way. 30 dwarves. Uh, it's kind of weird to be honest. Uh, I got two of 16 hit points and 12 strength at the same time there, I believe. Uh, maybe 17 combat? I don't know, man. So, my kind of goal here is to go like up by five with each skill, normally strength and attack. You know, kill cave bugs, level 7 slayer. Cool. And also level 7 prayer. <laughs> you know, as a prayer clarity of thought. These are so. These updates are so crazy, man. Which increases your attack by 5%. I plan to go up by 5 with each of these here, uh, 13 defense, 8 slayer, I missed some of the recordings a little bit, so this is not all terrible editing, <laughs> some of it are just, it's just terrible editing of the, um, I'm sorry it goes so loud, well done, I've completed an easy task in the Varrock, uh, so I teleported with the Au Aubrey guy, I think his name is, in, in the Varrock to, to, to teleport here, so my plan here was to, um, you can now mine iron, which actually a lot of people mine all the way up to 99 because it's actually really fast to mine. Um, 18 mining, it's funny how much levels are going to And then I decided to do some rune crafting from, for mine runes, which I thought was going to be a very good idea so I could like, you know, start leveling up my magic, level 6 rune crafting. Uh, I'm going to cra craft mist runes from pure essence. Level 7 rune crafting. This is only like, you know, each time I mine I pretty much got a level, so you can now craft earth runes. Earth runes. Level 10, uh, dust runes. Uh, level 16. So, what I'm doing here is not a Slayer task, actually. If you kill these guys, they actually drop uh, herbs. Um, and, does that unlock anything? Sharp Eye, which I believe is a ranging. Do I show that? I'm an idiot. Oh, I do. I increase your ranging by 5%. Also, got 19 combat at some point. <laughs> Maybe not as you that level. Ah, uh, shit. Now, what was I saying? God damn, I forget. Oh, yeah, these, these Chaos Druids are actually really nice for money here. I'll show right here. 17,000. I mean, it's still not amazing money, but, you know. It's not bad for me. Then I decided to buy some wizard stuff to increase my magic attack. And I really like one of my number one goals is to train magic. Uh, level 3 is magic. That's a pretty nice. I, I, I specifically really like the leveling up magic. I can now cast Confuse. A lot of these are just kind of like, you know, stat buffing, debuffing, level 4 magic. Uh, Opal tipped crossbow bolt. I can now enchant them. You know, already 5 magic. Water strike. Uh. 
Yeah, unfortunately, some of these I kind of missed. That spells unlock. Uh, if something's attacking, you can now enchant Sapphire, Sapphire Jewelry and Sapphire Tape Crossbow Volt and Opal Jewelry. <laughs> Try to read these so fast. Also, got level, uh, total level 225, which is neat. Did I miss 200? I might have. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. So, uh, yeah, I literally just kind of, like, chilled here for a bit and started attacking everything and now cast Weaken. Oh, yeah, then this random event. This is kind of a stupid one. It's a, it's a princess that asks you to kiss her unless you turn into a, a, a real, a, a real boy. Um, then I started killing Skellington's Fire Strike! Because they had a lot more hit points on them, so I was able to get more experience off of them. And also, they can't attack me back because they're over the thing. Uh, Jade tipped crossbow bolts over the ditch there. Um, that being said, uh, I started eventually Bones to Bananas, which is really weird sounding, but a very helpful spell in one particular area in the game. Yeah, and then I started killing these guards, which actually dropped some alright things. You can now cast Curse, which is also another debuff. No one really uses many of the debuffs in this game. You can now cast Bind, and members can use Zerakian Armor. Bind is pretty helpful. Low-level Alchemy, that changes items to gold. It is very helpful, uh, but no one uses it because there's also a high Alchemy spell, level 55. You can now cast what about? <laughs> okay, we're almost level 25, which is my goal, because that's when I can start teleporting. Uh, Pearl Tip Bolt or something, 25, there we go. Teleport to Varroth! That's what I was waiting for this entire time. I then decided I want to fish so I could do more Slayer, so here I am speed buying a bunch of uh, feathers and bait, which I could use to uh, level up fishing. We're going to use the bait first to catch a bunch of sardines, I think. Level 6 fishing, level 7 fishing. Um, oh, here's Sergeant Damien. This is another random event. I'm getting a lot of these. Um, he just asks you to do five things and then you do them. What's that noise? That's weird to hear that. I don't know, maybe I might have like, clicked on a video or something. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, there we go, we did it. And with that, we did it. We got a camo shirt. Yeah, we did it together. Um, I'm now total level 250. So I did a lot between this, you know, the two stream and three stream. I uh, got the ability to catch herring, 12 fishing. It's funny, because all these clips are like only a few seconds, yet this video is still <laughs> like 15 minutes long. Now catch anchovies. Uh, catch fresh fish from the docks and sulfy fish. Good old salty fish. So my aim right now is Tony fishing, so I could fish trout. I uh, mean, I'll fish mackerel, uh, oysters, and caskets. Trout, so I could like um, fish the trout myself, uh, because I was using trout before to. Um, there we go. There's level 20. Uh, I was just buying the trout off the ground exchange before, so I can uh, eat that when I was doing slayer stuff. Uh, Chima diary. That would be catching trout, I believe. It, it is definitely for sure that. Oh, the blink screen there for a second. I'll have to fix that. Yet. Level 22. And I decided to cook all the food, which is going to get me a lot. And now thin snails and spicy crunchies. I'm going to have to uh, not talk a whole lot here. Well, talk a lot, but scramble eggs. I'm going to have to read what I could cook because pretty much every level of cooking you unlock something. Uh, brew cider and warm crunchies. Yay. Uh, and trout and sulfy fish and creel. Bats? Bars? Something? <laughs> Uh, rabbit meat, jungle spiders, and chocolate cheap crunchies. I like how they call cookies crunchies. It's weird. Is that a real thing? Lean snail. Lean, mean snail machine. Level 18 cooking. Uh, cocon and wizard blizzards. Wiz the blizzard. Level 19 cooking. Dorvern style. Level 20 cooking. Uh, meat pies and pike. Members can catch nettle tea and short green guys. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Are we gonna catch tingle? Um, uh, churn cream, cooked crab meat, and roast Beast meat. Definitely rather that's breast meat. That's very confused. Maybe it was breast meat. That's not a weird thing. Fat snail, level 22. A scrambled eggs and tomato. Uh, level 24 cooking. Or uh, as Garnian ale. And then we went to do a second round. Because that was all from just the round one round of fishing all the stuff to get up to level 20. You can now fish for cod with the large nets. All these things you don't really ever need to do. Level 25 cooking. Cooking. I catch cook stews and salmon. Remember those also cooking fruit batters? I don't know what that is. Yeah, you get new information from the cooking tutor. What's that cook something? <laughs> level 9 slayer. I don't know what that's about to be honest. It's kind of weird. Level 20 strength there. So, like, missed it. Like an idiot. Level 22 combat somewhere. 16 attack. I'm so bad at these, man. Level 10 slayer. It's going to be much easier to catch these cave crawlers once, once we get to the point where it takes longer than a couple minutes. And new slayer task was monkeys, which I got kind of angry about. Because I'm like, monkeys, those are level 2. So what I realized is I actually have to do a uh, quest next to unlock the next slayer master. That will give me um, a lot of different other things for me to attack. Um, so we'll be doing that next stream. Uh, other plans next stream is probably just questing, to be honest. 
Uh, Priest in Peril, which, which is my top priority right now, so I can unlock a new Slayer Master, followed by probably Judic Ritual, which will unlock another skill, Herblor. Herblor. Um, Tree Gnome Village unlocks a new form of transportation and teleporting around, so that's extremely helpful. And also Fairy Tale eventually, which unlocks an another form of transportation, because right now I'm seriously all about trying to unlock transportation, because it kind of sucks not to uh, <laughs> be able to teleport around so much. So that'll pretty much be... Um, that pretty much be the next, the third stream coming up uh, real soon here after this video is uploaded. Um, I'm probably just going to do a bunch of quests and we'll uh, figure out what to do from there. Uh, like I said, eventually I want to go player killing, I want to go bossing all that, but we're still way too early in the account to be able to do that. So over time we will start doing more fun and exciting things. So thanks for watching everyone. Um, if you actually watch this, that's freaking fantastic because, you know, I, like one third of this video was like just me, just the stream, <laughs> really. Um, and it just, you know, post commentary over it. So uh, if you want to leave a like, that'd be an amazing way to support me. You guys are awesome. Um, and I hope to see you at the next stream. Bye!